So what is going to be the best graphics card for you in 2022? In this video, we'll break down the top five graphics cards on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. So whether you're looking for the best graphics card for FPS, editing, professional gaming, casual gaming, or anything in between, stay tuned. We'll have the perfect option for you. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, our pick for best graphics card for the money. The combination of performance and price gives you excellent value and puts the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 in the sweet spot for 1440p gaming without the extra power draw. The RTX 3070 is powered by the Ampere GA104 GPU and is the only graphics card in the Ampere lineup with a reasonable level of power consumption at 220 watts. This also takes cooling requirements down a couple of notches, which is great news for those who don't have extra room in their cases for larger graphics cards. But what's most important here is that while the RTX 3070 is a much smaller chip, it's able to pack way more muscle into it at a lower price, making last generation flagship performance available to everyone. Beyond that, the RTX 3070 brings a set of features that are going to be very useful for gamers. RTX I.O. is perhaps the most important, especially when it comes to the next-gen PS5 and Xbox Series X, bringing with them truly next-generation data access through their SSD solutions. RTX I.O. will work with the Microsoft Direct Storage API to optimize the delivery of data straight from your SSD to the GPU. When a game needs to access data, that data goes from storage to your CPU, then to system memory, where it's fed back through your CPU to your graphics card, then finally to your VRAM. RTX I.O. cuts the CPU out of that equation, removing one of the biggest bottlenecks in modern PC gaming. The NVIDIA Reflex feature, on the other hand, simply cuts latency between your CPU and GPU by clearing out the render queue, so frames are only rendered when they're needed. If you're looking for a graphics card that delivers good value and is easily capable of running most games at 4K at full quality, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 is a great choice. This card delivers powerful performance in a small package and offers some useful features that make it very efficient. Next up, the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT, our pick for best AMD graphics card. The AMD RX 6800 XT offers exceptional performance at 1080p and 1440p, plus decent chops in 4K. It may not have much to offer when it comes to ray tracing, but that's still not a widely implemented feature in games. This impressive graphics card is capable of rivaling NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3080 with matching performance in many situations, while offering a more attractive price point, 4K gaming power, and advanced features that makes this card a more affordable option for those who want to save a few bucks. It won't dethrone the NVIDIA card, but offers a comparable alternative that will have wider appeal to budget-conscious gamers. The RX 6800 XT is based on Team Red's RDNA 2 graphics architecture. And rather than shrinking the die, AMD has worked in some new features and boosted efficiency, just like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. The biggest of these features is the Infinity Cache, which is basically 128 megabytes of global cache that offers faster data feed from the larger 16GB VRAM pool to the GPU, resulting in 2.4 times more bandwidth per watt than the VRAM would be able to achieve on its own. What is most exciting, however, is that the 6800 XT is essentially a beefed-up version of the GPU found in the Xbox Series X and PS5. This potentially means that games will be more easily optimized for this graphics card throughout the next generation of consoles. There's also a good assortment of outputs on the Radeon RX 6800. You get two DisplayPort ports, one HDMI 2.1 port, and a USB-C port, which should cover basically any modern display on the market. For power, there are two 8-pin power connectors on the back of the card. If you're an AMD fan looking for a more affordable 4K gaming option, the AMD RX 6800 is a solid choice. This card is comparable to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 and is one of AMD's best. Next up, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, our pick for best overall graphics card. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 is a powerhouse of a graphics card, delivering one of the largest generational leaps in GPU history. Anyone that's interested in 4K gaming should definitely be paying attention to this graphics card. Like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, the RTX 3080 is based on the Ampere graphics architecture, bringing improvements to both raw performance and power efficiency. The biggest of these is improvements to the RT and Tensor cores and the rasterization engine. Through clever optimization, NVIDIA doubled the amount of CUDA cores on each streaming multiprocessor, which is a huge improvement over Turing architecture where one data path was dedicated entirely to integer workloads. 
This effectively doubles throughput, core for core, and provides one of the biggest generational jumps in overall gaming performance that's been seen in years. And just as we saw with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, the RTX 3080 features RTX I.O., which streamlines the data path between your storage, CPU, GPU, SSD, and VRAM, which is critically important, especially to future gaming tech. Calling the RTX 3080 fast is a bit of an understatement. No matter what game you play, you'll be able to have all the settings maxed out. You'll see ray tracing effects that are silky smooth, and DLSS will boost frame rates by rendering at a lower resolution. Then, use AI to upscale the frames so they look as sharp as the native resolution, and sitting at a steady 60fps at 4K is no problem. If you have the cash on hand, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 is one of the best graphics cards you can get right now, and is a fantastic choice for anyone looking for amazing results. It's the ideal 4K gaming card, letting you max out the game settings and maintain a high frame rate. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily, with sales and general price drops, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like, and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. Next up, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, our pick for best graphics card for gaming. The NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti provides excellent 4K ray tracing performance and is an excellent choice for any hardcore gamer looking for top-of-the-line performance. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti offers everything that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 does, but goes the extra mile to become more gamer-focused by providing a higher 384-bit memory bus, more CUDA cores, and a boost clock of 1.67 GHz. And like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, it can easily run just about any game out there at a 4K resolution at 60fps. Like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, the RTX 3080 Ti includes deep learning super sampling that will upscale a lower resolution to your native resolution. The idea here is that DLSS will let you turn on more of the shiny graphics options without having to sacrifice image quality just to hit a decent frame rate, especially at high resolutions like 4K. The RTX 3080 Ti is basically as fast as the RTX 3090, which we'll see later in the video, even though it has half the VRAM. The RTX 3080 Ti usually stays within 1 to 2 FPS of the RTX 3090. For example, in a game at 1440p, the RTX 3080 Ti would get 139 FPS, while the RTX 3090 would pull 146 FPS. But if we stay grounded and realistic, you're probably not going to even perceive that 5% performance difference. What this all boils down to is that for pretty much any game that you're looking to play, the RTX 3080 Ti is going to be able to max it out at 4K, even with ray tracing effects enabled. If you want the top-notch performance of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, but want to save a few bucks, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is a smart choice. Like its sibling, the RTX 3080 is one of the best graphics cards on the market right now, and enhancements like ray tracing and DLSS will help boost that performance even more. Last but not least, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, our pick for best 4K graphics card. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is the most powerful graphics card you can buy today, delivering jaw-dropping 3D rendering and encoding performance. But you do have to pay a high price for this level of power. While the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti offers very good performance, the RTX 3090 gives us that push over the edge with more CUDA cores, RT cores, and Tensor cores than the RTX 3080 Ti. The memory configuration has also been expanded, with 24GB of GDDR6X memory, offering a maximum bandwidth that nears 1TB per second. This GPU strength is in its ability to work best with creative and production workloads. Setting up a 4K render in Blender, the RTX 3090 outperforms the RTX 3080 Ti, saving just over a minute per frame, which can really add up. For video editors, the big benefit comes from the huge 24GB VRAM capacity, improving stability in large projects when working with a high-resolution timeline. But when it comes to gaming in 1440p, it only offers slightly better performance over the RTX 3080 Ti, and we made that comparison when we looked at the 3080 Ti. The difference in overall performance is negligible, reaffirming that the RTX 3090 is better suited for creative and professional use. Of course, you could still game with this card, and it sits comfortably in the middle ground between gaming and creative use, but excels with tools like Blender, Maya, and Adobe Premiere. And when using software like Premiere, the entire production workflow is accelerated by the GPU, cutting down the time to render each frame and saving you time in the long run. If you're a creative professional who wants to accelerate your workflow, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is hard to beat. 
The massive computing performance and available VRAM will save you time on all your projects. And with all that time saved, you can even sneak in some 4K gaming with all the stops pulled out. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.